As I stood before the decrepit mansion, the chilling wind whispered through the gnarled trees. Its history was as dark as the moonless night, and the locals spoke of the horrors that had unfolded within its walls. The moon was hidden behind a shroud of clouds, casting eerie shadows that seemed to dance around me. Driven by my morbid curiosity, I pushed open the creaking door and stepped inside. The air was musty, thick with the scent of time and decay. Moonlight filtered through the cracked windows, revealing faded wallpaper peeling like the skin of a long-forgotten nightmare. As I cautiously explored the hallway, my flashlight cutting through the darkness, each step echoed like a whisper. In one of the rooms, I discovered a collection of old photographs. Smiling faces stared back at me, frozen in a happier time. But my gaze was drawn to a single image, a sinister figure lurking in the background, half concealed by shadows. The mansion's secrets led me to a hidden staircase leading to a chilling basement. The air grew colder, and a sense of dread wrapped around me. In the dim light, I saw a series of crude drawings splattered across the walls, depicting scenes of unimaginable violence. Suddenly, a shuffling sound echoed from behind. I turned, my flashlight trembling in my grasp, to face a figure draped in tattered rags. Its face hidden by darkness, it extended a trembling hand, revealing a gleaming blade. The truth crashed over me, the rumors were real. I had stumbled upon the remnants of unspeakable horrors. Frozen with fear, I watched as the figure approached, my scream drowned by the mansion's malevolence. To this day, the mansion stands as a monument to the unspeakable terrors that occurred within its walls. Those brave enough to venture near can still hear the whispers of the past, forever haunting the grounds with the memory of true crime.